Hey, this is Adam Kunda, National Credit Care, and you're watching another episode of Wine and Real Estate TV. Hi, this is Chris Morton with another episode of Wine and Real Estate TV with Adam Kunda here with National Credit Repair. Uh, our topic today is credit repair, how to get your credit ready to buy a house. Our show today is sponsored by the Morton Group. Our motto is you centered real estate. Everything we do is focused on you. Adam, thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, I really, for really appreciate me, it. I think the number one topic when someone thinks about a credit repair company is that most of them or some of them or part of them are kind of illegitimate and slimy. Talk to that. I know you guys have that message is like we're not the rest of the guys. Explain uh, that if that's you would. That's totally correct. It's been my mission for five years since I joined this company to kind of really flip the name in the game because really what I see is that crooks, scams, criminals uh, all over the news, uh, states being uh, really in the forefront suing these organizations, right. trying to clean them out of the industry. So uh, one of the things, again, that I do is I try and educate uh, as much as possible because education is really the key to understanding how this program is successful. Uh, and, and, you know, in terms of licensing uh, and, and all the qualifications I need to have to do my job, mm -hmm. uh, I've got a laundry list of them. I'm a licensed credit counselor. I'm a certified okay. FICO professional. Uh, so I've done everything that I can do to educate myself uh, so this information is extremely accurate uh, and by the book. Gotcha. Yes, sir. So if someone was looking for beyond going to your website, website and seeing you guys and help getting your help what would they want to look for to find someone who's like certified and they're safe and they know they're going to be a legitimate person? I, I think really it's, it's not anything that you can go. There's no uh, list of, of people who are legal in this industry. I mm. think it's a conversation. Okay. Uh, ask people questions. Ask them what they're doing. I find the biggest strategy today in credit repair is going through and just disputing the trade lines. Right. Uh, and essentially there, there is a way to remove information that right. is yours and legitimate by disputing them. I'm not going to say that that's not true, but it's really, it really is getting about 8 to 10% of the results okay. of what the clients looking for. Okay. Uh, who wants to pay for a service that's going to get you 8 to 10% of True. what you're looking for, True. right? Uh, so at the end of the day, you know, I'm not going to say that this is a perfect process. There's no way to legally eliminate exactly what you've done on a credit report. If you have a $20,000 repossession, a car taken out of your driveway, uh, there's some things that can be done to settle on the account. But if there right. is a company out there that's saying that they can dispute this trade line and have this removed from the credit report, uh, that those are the companies that I would start to raise some suspicion about. That's a red flag. Yeah, big red flag. So if someone has their credit's low and they need some work to get to where they need to be to, to buy the house, about how long, and I know this is in general, but about how long does it take? How, when can, should they start the process? That's the typical realtor question, yes, for sure. Yes, of course. How long can we, uh, is it going to take? How quickly can we get this done? For sure. And, and, and we understand that time is of the essence. Right. Uh, you know, every kind of 30 days, there's a cycle that we can work with the mm -hmm. consumer. Uh, so as we're working with you, every 30 days, we're able to kind of launch investigations, see what's going on at the credit bureau level. Okay. Uh, so we're always on a 30-day time Cycle. It's a matter of how many points we're averaging during those 30 days okay. and how many months we're given to actually uh, increase the score. Uh, I find that usually my average enrollment is going to take about six to nine months, okay. uh, but it also comes down to hard, how hard the client's wanting to put uh, their effort into this mm -hmm. because if they're on point, they're calling me daily, calling me weekly, then this goes very, very well. Gotcha. Uh, clients do like to tend to sit and cross fingers and think that that's right. an approach to fix credit repair. Uh, and actually, typically, we see that their results are very, very low for that type right, of client. Right. So. So, so what you're saying is someone needs to get going. If they even suspect they have an issue, they need to probably get checked out like nine months in advance with the mortgage professional. And I would, I would say that's on. great. Yeah, that's a great uh, indicator. 12, 12 to nine months, okay. at least if you're thinking about buying within the next 12 months, get a, get a survey of where we're at. Get an assessment. At least know what you're up against. Mm -hmm. uh, I find a lot of people also, uh, Chris, are going to these websites like freecreditreport.com. Right. I see heavily advertised on television right now. It's a, a website called Credit Karma. Yes. Now, it's a very yeah. important thing for anybody listening and watching to know uh, that those websites do not produce your actual credit score mm. that you guys would be seeing in the mortgage industry when you're going and applying for that home loan. So we might be a little misled by these credit reports and yeah. scores, uh, and it actually kind of maybe puts a false opinion as to where it's we're at, shame. right? Yeah. It, right. it is a shame. So then we, 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 it kind of delays the process. You get eager. You want to go buy a home. We pull credit. It's not where it needs to be. And then we have to start where we could have started mm. maybe 9 to 12 right. months ago, for sure. Right. It's sort of like the iceberg in the Titanic. If they saw it coming six months in advance, you could pretty much move away from it. Yeah, turn that ship. It's going to yeah. take a little bit to turn that Understood. ship, uh, for sure. No, for sure. Well, tell me, uh, what's the process like? So someone comes to you and it's nine months before they want to buy a house. What's the process like? Sure. What do they need to do and all I that? I think that the very first part of this is, is kind of the same way I'm asking your clients to ask us questions or ask my competition questions. Uh, we're going to be asking some questions as well okay. to the client because, uh, to be honest, there's not a, a program that's there to help 
everybody. Right. Some people this is going to work for, and if, if I can identify a client that this is not going to be a success for, that's somebody I don't really want to put into the program. Right. Maybe at a later time we can get you involved, but what we see today is maybe your money is better spent maybe paying your bills or, right. or, 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 or settling on some accounts, and that's what we're going to be instructing you to do. So even you do on a little call. coaching ahead of time. Yeah, for sure. We call it a full free analysis. It's a, okay. it's a full disclosure. We need the client to kind of look at uh, where we're at. Does the hill look like this? Right. Or does it look like this? And, yeah. they, can, and they can get to the top because I need to know what, what you're thinking. If, if you're scared or nervous, that's what I need to do is, is coach you and make, sh make sure you understand that there is a way to do this, but I do need your effort as well. Of course. Uh, so the analysis is probably the most important part. And once we get a client into the program, uh, then it's just starting the coaching uh, and starting working on the credit as well, because this is not a program where we're just looking at negative credit. Right. That is an aspect. That's what I'm going to call credit repair. Uh, right. But I also can kind of look at myself as a doctor, if you will. Yeah. Somebody who's right. uh, looking for uh, prescriptions that I can prescribe to right. this client. There's lots of things that we can prescribe to you to do on your own to get the credit in order so they need to have the checkup first before they actually go have the surgery uh, that's a great way to look <laughs> at it and but then again if you if you don't have the surgery you don't get better right, right. Uh, right. So, so that is a big part is we do have to take action uh, and it is going to take a little bit of effort but I'm here to say that I'm going to make it as easy as possible and you're going to be very educated about the credit score as you're going through this program very good mm -hmm. um, what things can people do to not have to see you guys to not have to get credit <laughs> repair what what do they need to be watching what's the big points that they need to be worried about as they go through their lives sure uh, you know I, I think the biggest thing that in the news today is all the errors on the credit reports. Mm -hmm. uh, there's actually an FTC study that wrapped up in the year 2013 that claimed that 40 million people in this country have a detrimental <laughs> error on their credit report. Yikes. So when I hear that number, what, I, what it kind of makes me understand is that the bureaus are not necessarily doing the best job keeping track of this data mm -hmm. and making sure that it's accurate pertaining to that client. Uh, dealing with a lot of loan officers, I hear uh, it's not mine. The clients yeah. are saying that it's not mine, and right. how can that actually be? Uh, it's it very, very possible that something could be yours on your credit report that is not yours. Uh, it could be something uh, essentially your father's. It could be a yeah. brother's. It could even be a sister's or right. maybe somebody that you don't know. We look at some very loose qualifiers uh, to match up information with identity in this industry. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a member of the Chris Morton Facebook group. Okay. And some of those guys are a little shady, so there might be some of that might be some of the Chris Morton uh, on my credit report might be there. I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I know. But it is, it is true. Uh, there, there's, a, there's a 60 Minutes episode. I highly recommend people watch okay. as well. Uh, you can just Google 60 Minutes and 40 million errors, and it'll go, wow. it'll go into a little bit of information. The Bureau's biggest response when they're, when they're asked, what do you want to do about these 40 million errors? They put the camera and the, and the microphone in their face. What do you think the response was? No comment. Uh, actually, nothing. They said nothing. nothing. They said if you want to fix this, you can bring us to court or you can use this disputing process. Okay? That's, it's ridiculous it, that they have that much power. No, totally correct. And you know, just, just to be clear, we're not a company that's disputing information. Mm -hmm. That's usually going to be the tact of credit repair. Uh, so please do not pay a company that's going to dispute your information on your report. Right. Yeah, you can do this for $7 per credit bureau by going mm -hmm. to their direct websites and filing electronic disputes. Right. Uh, other companies will charge you $120 a month mm -hmm. to do the same service that you could have done for $21 in all entirety, right? right. Mm -hmm. And thank you for that disclosure. Oh, sure. Uh, speaking of cost, about what, and I know everyone charges, It's it, everyone's case is different, but what about can someone expect to pay for this service? Sure. So we mentioned a monthly point increase, and I think that's what we need to focus on. Our okay. service is a monthly uh, service, so okay. we're usually charging $69 a month to do well, the service. Extremely fair. Extremely fair. Uh, if, yeah. it's, if it's breaking the bank, if it's hurting your budget, uh, then maybe we need to kind of look at some savings right. uh, so that right. we, we can afford this program and also afford buying a home. Right. Uh, but $69 should not be breaking the bank. Uh, it's right. the most affordable program that I see in the market. I would agree. Again, the competition is charging $120 to just do a disputing process. 500, I've heard 2,000. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really sick industry. No, I, I definitely understand. So that's why we need to be fair here. Uh, right. Clients need help. It needs to be an accessible price. So $69, I find, is a, is a very uh, reasonable Tremendous. market price. Tremendous. For sure. Well, is there anything we've missed that you need to share with the audience before uh, we wrap up? No, no I mean, it just really, if you have any questions and need to get in touch with me, you can always call me directly on my cell phone, which is 720-556-1959. Just call me. My name is Adam uh, with National Credit Care. Or you always okay. email as well if that's easier for you, adam at nationalcreditcare.com. Not too complicated right, there. Right. Uh, yeah, we also have an office that, that's there for just answering questions. If you're just looking for more information on what we can do for you, uh, give them a call too, 866-595-6313 is our office okay. number. Yes, sir. And you have a website? Uh, we do, nationalcreditcare.com as well. It's shocking that it would be nationalcreditcare.com. It's, it's so easy. Uh, but really, the, you know, the website is just going to give you some feelers. This is a, is a personalized program. Huge, so it's yeah. that analysis, it's that conversation that's really going to understand is this going to work for you or not. So get on the phone, give us a call. We don't charge anything to go over where you're at and assess the situation. It's up to you if you want to get started at that point. I'm a big fan of that. 
personalized in that initial interview process. That's what I do in my real estate practice with my buyers and <coughs> sellers that sit down and talk with them. So that hats off to you guys for yeah, that. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. So we've reached that part portion of the show when we usually drink wine. <laughs> my apologies. Uh, it's what, 8.15 in the morning? Yeah, barely, right? <laughs> I'm a wine-aholic. Um, I'm not that big of a wine-aholic. It's, uh, it's, no, we're, we, we dispense of that today. My apologies. We will have Adam back on for another show, and we'll have it at a more respectable hour, like, say, 10 a.m. <laughs> to be able to drink wine, so we'll do that soon. Um, Adam, thank you so much oh, for thank your you time. So much. Yeah, really, really appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it. Absolutely. For cheers, Invisible Glass. <laughs> um, for further episodes of the show, and thank you all, as always, for watching, uh, go to Wine and Real Estate TV. The website is wineandre.com, spelled as always, W-I-N-E-A-N-D-R-E.com. Thanks a lot. This has been Chris Morton, your host, and appreciate it. And Adam, again, yeah, definitely, thank you. Thank you. Quick question for you. Yes, do, you do you actually deliver a bottle of wine for anybody that buys a home? I you? could be tempted to do so if, <laughs> if required, if they'll let me drink it with them. All right. Hey, thanks so much, Chris. Yes, thank sir. Thank you. Bye-bye.